Welcome, aspiring developers, to an exciting journey into the world of web development with React. I am thrilled to introduce you to a project that will not only expand your horizons but also empower you with valuable skills. My name is Kindness and I am with The Best Tech. In this project, we will be crafting a beautiful website using React and Laravel for backend API. On the front end, we will dive into React, a JavaScript library known for its efficiency and flexibility. We will harness the power of React hooks like useState and useEffect for state management and side effect handling. Furthermore, we will explore the elegance of styled components, an innovative approach to styling React components with the power of CSS in JS while excluding the use of CSS class names. Most importantly, we will learn how to make our website responsive to various screen sizes while using styled components. Turning to the backend, we will delve into Laravel, a PHP framework renowned for its simplicity and elegance. We will implement Laravel Santom for authentication, ensuring the security of our applications. You will gain insights into the benefits of using Laravel for creating restful APIs, setting you on a path to becoming a proficient backend developer. Throughout this project, we will adhere to the principles of clean architecture and follow the model, view, and controller approach. This means you will not only learn how to create beautiful and functional front end components, but also how to structure our application efficiently on the back end, making them scalable and maintainable. Now, let me walk you through what we'll be building. We will be building a simple user-friendly reservation website that allows users to reserve various types of places such as nature house or mountain house and so on. This is the home page of our application. Starting with the home page, we have this navbar or this header section followed by this hero section. We will learn how to create this beautiful slider and how we can customize it to our preference either by making the scrollable slider infinite or not, by setting the number of data to be shown at each slide and so on. At this section, we will display the data fetched from our API for featured places. We will see how we can create a customizable slider to showcase future data when in mobile view. In this section, we will fetch certain number of places from our API. At this section, we have the categories. We will learn how to make it scrollable as well. On clicking on any of this category, it takes us to a dedicated page where we retrieve all places related to that category. At the top here, we are also fetching the categories from our API such that when we click on any other category, we get the places below. And if no place is attached to that category we clicked, we get this no place available. When we click on any of the places available, we get a comprehensive data about that place, including the name, the title, the user who listed the place, the check-in and check-out, the amenities, and so on. At this section, we have the price of this place, which is $150 per night. The check-in date of this place, which was listed by this user, is 10th of August, and the checkout date is 17th of August. The check-in date listed by this user will be subtracted from the checkout date, which will give us the number of nights, thus multiplied by the place price. The service fee will also be subtracted and we have the total. If we try to make a reservation, if we are not logged in, we get this pop-up warning which tells us we have to be logged in first. Since we do not have an account, let us create an account. If the data entered in the input field does not meet the required criteria or constraints set by our application, we get this validation errors message coming from our API. 
Upon signing up, we get this pop-up and after a few seconds, it will redirect us to the login page. So now let's log in. Upon logging in, we are redirected to the home page and immediately at the top, we see the user profile image, the default user profile image. If we click on it, it shows the logout button. We will also learn about authentication guarding, a security feature that prevents unauthorized access to certain parts of a website by checking the authentication status of a user before granting them access. If we try to access the sign in or sign up page using the URL, we are redirected and not granted access because we are logged in already. Now we can make reservation for this place since we are logged in. On clicking the reservation button, we have the check in and check out validation, which ensures we have to select the check in and check out dates. Because not everyone can reserve this place based on this user's listed date, so for user's experience, we have this calendar that shows us to input our preferred date or reserve in advance. So I will select 28th and 22nd. 28th for this check in date and 22nd for the checkout date, which is two days. Note that the price of this place is $150. And this user listed this is seven days. On clicking the reserve button, I get this pop up that says it has been added to the checkout page, and I am automatically redirected to this checkout page. In this section, we have the place we reserved and the preferred dates we selected earlier, the days as well as the prices. At this section, we can send our name or some other person's name, phone number, and additional message, which is optional. On clicking the submit button, we get this success message. Congratulations, your reservation has been placed successfully. You will receive an email shortly. Now, if we try to access this checkout page after reserving this place, we do not get that place data again. By the end of this course, you will have mastered five major concepts effectively. You will have one, mastered React and its core concepts, including hooks, state management, and component based architecture. Two, understood the importance of styled components in modern web design and how to use them effectively. Three, gained proficiency in creating RESTful APIs and securing them. 4. Grabs the clean architecture and MVC approach for building robust web application. 5. Gained practical experience in building real-world projects that you can showcase in your portfolio.